All right, three, two, one, we are live without Uncle John. I'm so sad, Uncle John, when you're watching this. I got to tell you, I feel, I feel naked without my partner here. I've gotten so used to having, uh, even though I got, the, the, I got the great John Brzezink with me, I still feel, uh, can you hear that? Are you going to be able to do this on your own, Gary? Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I have no idea. I'm so... <laughs> You've got no production team probably behind you or nothing like that. You're doing everything yourself, flipping well, the switches. and On all the videos right now, I mean, this is pretty – you just set it and forget it. Zoom now, it's, it's so easy. It uh, yeah. you know, cuts back and forth. But I've, on these Tuesday nights, we've gotten pretty uh, – we've gotten pretty – I think we're 29 shows. This is the 29th show. We've gone live Tuesday night, and uh, – I've I've really leaned on my man Uncle John to be the uh, be kind of the the man in charge, and then I'm there to like. Right. It just it feels be, so be, much. Be the, be the expert. You're the expert arm wrestler. He's he's the commentator. And... No, I. <laughs> no. I'm the I'm the guy who uh, will ask the stupid question. I like to I like to be the guy that fills in the role for somebody who might just have found arm wrestling. Gotcha. I got <laughs> Asking you. maybe the, the stupid questions that right. people kind of forget about. But anyways, Arm TV Nation, uh, thank you for joining us. We have the great, the, the GOAT. The I've been on, yeah, I've been on the Zoom stuff, I think, more in the last week than I've had my entire life. So yeah, this, is a, this, this live stuff is kind of the new thing, huh? right? Uh, so you're doing Zoom through YouTube? Is that how this works or? Yeah, I there's there's probably better ways, but uh this is the it's, easiest. It's so easy to just log into your uh so we just log into our our YouTube and make sure it's all set up, then I just open Zoom and it says what do you want to do and I say go to YouTube and then I just click a button and it connects. Broadcast. So uh, it's ah, cool. it's it's really easy, but you haven't with this whole pandemic and the work from home, you never had to do the Zoom. Zoom is the hot new thing um, the last year. Uh, yeah, we, we went, we did a couple different things. We did uh, something that I think it was called Teen, and then we went to Zoom. And I think oh, yeah, we, yeah. I think we ended up sticking with Zoom. I, there was a couple different ones that we've done, but uh, it's not, it doesn't work. I mean, it, it, they, they try to do training courses through this video thing. And it, People are, you know, <laughs> you got posters up and they're falling asleep and eyes are rolling. And <laughs> I, 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 mean, don't I don't think it's very effective. I mean, I'm telling you, if we all bought Zoom stock the day the pandemic started, we would all be be rich, right? We'd yeah. all be rocking. Cool. Uh, yeah. But anyways, welcome to Arm TV, Uncle John. You're missed. Come back. He's sick. Everyone send Uncle John a message. Speaking of huh? sick, I feel so terrible. I was doing my research. I saw that Michael Todd had come down. Michael Todd's family had come down with the COVID. I saw I, that also. I, I forgot to send him a message. So I'm going to be a dumbass. I'm going to send him a message after this saying, hey, uh, thoughts and prayers are with you. I hope you're recovering and all that business. Yeah, I, I, I ended up actually watching his live feed um, yesterday on, on my TV. So I, I, I'm not part of the being able to do the chats and, and message and that. And I'm not even sure that you, know, you could, you know, through the TV, if he even knows that you're there, but I, I, you know, watched his, watched the story. He looked, he looked a little cross-eyed and like somewhat out of it. I was like, man, Mike doesn't look right still. I mean, <laughs> poor guy. Hope he's, hope he's going to be okay. But yeah, he was like kind of deer in the headlights the whole time. Like, ah. Uh, I mean, so. if there's any, but I mean, if there's anyone who's going to get COVID, you'd want somebody physically strong, like they're the ones who can beat that shit, right? I mean, you got to have, I mean, str strong is different than a good immune system though, right? I mean, so yeah, I mean, you need to be healthy and yeah. in different ways, not not arm wrestling and weightlifting healthy. Yeah. You need to be, you know, good immune system, obviously. But yeah. Well, anyways, I, I, uh, Michael Todd, we're, uh, John Brzezink, watch your live stream. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. awesome. I anyways, was feeling for him. I was, you know, for Mike. Yeah. Uh, we the whole family you, got it. I yeah. Our neighbors got it uh, a couple of weeks ago. So it's, um, yeah, that new variant evidently is uh, making its rounds. So people are. So uh, what? Michael Todd has the new variant? Oh, I don't know if he does or not. But um, I mean, that seems to be the thing uh, that I hear on the news anyway, that that's all the people that are, haven't gotten vaccinated are getting. A, there's a new wave of the 
of you know spiking up and hospitals are filled and it's it's Man. this new variant's way more contagious. I don't know if it's if it's you know to motivate people to get vaccinated or if it really is the truth. I can't imagine them making stuff up like that, but. Um, that's that's the story that I've been hearing. I hope they don't shut the country down again. I can't no, go through that again, man. I can't no, do no. it. Yeah, no, I, I got a trip planned to, to Norway, and I'm I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that they don't they don't uh, you know mess up Europe and, and my my trip gets canceled because oh, I want I want to get out of this Arizona heat. It's been and crazy hot and humid here the last couple of weeks, and oh I'm, I'm so looking forward to going to a cool country. <laughs> Do you when you're do you go outside in that heat or you just stay inside as much as uh, possible? I, I do. I, I try to stay inside as much as possible, but obviously I have to work outside when I when I have to. So does then, uh, does the air conditioning stop working at some point when it's that hot? <laughs> no, it works pretty well. Yeah. In fact, it's it, it, it hits you hard when you're you come on come in from 110, 115 oh degree God, temperature. That's horrible. <laughs> Anyways, Uncle John, I mean, Uncle John, Uncle John Brzezink, I'm so used to talking to my partner, Uncle John. <laughs> John Brzezink, my new partner. All right. Uh, you, have a, you have a big weekend coming up. Yeah, a super match with uh, Chance uh, Shaw. I guess he's the new latest, greatest superstar arm wrestler. Um, is, that, I, is that what you called him out? I, did I call him out? I don't think I called him out. He, I think he's putting that spin on it. It's funny. I was trying to I, be funny. I was I, trying yeah, to be no, funny. No, I, um, yeah, he, he contacted me about uh, six, eight months ago wanting to practice. Nice, nice instant message I got from him, and, and I kind of turned him down, and then he, he asked me for a super match when he came out to the Arizona States a few months ago and I turned wait, him down wait, wait. again. Why'd you, like, why'd you, why'd you turn him down the first time? I just, I just hadn't been pulling. I just zero pulling. You know, I, I, I tried to get back in shape uh, last year for the top eight when Igor asked me in September and I through the spring and most of the summer, I was actually arm wrestling quite regularly and in, in, in fairly decent shape. And then uh, everything got canceled and postponed. And I just like, okay, this could go on for a long time. So I just ended up going back onto the, the beer diet and just not arm wrestling at all. And, so and uh, up until just recently, I just you know I haven't been doing any arm wrestling, not really interested, or even um, debating whether I should ever return to this to the sport. But yeah, um, okay. So before we get into chance, let's talk about that a little bit because when I met you in Waxahachie, hmm, okay, yeah, Texas, you yeah. you, I mean, I put out a video, the true status of John Zink. It really sounded like you were done, so yeah, no, I'm done. I still am done. I I still just I'm I'm I'm, I'm done, but I. Every once in a while, I just get curious of just seeing, you know, what I could still do. And I mean, I still enjoy hanging out with the guys and going to a tournament. And, um, you know, in this situation that came up for this weekend, Travis asked me to be part of his event. And, um, and you know, honest, I just, I thought of chance. I've been on the East Coast and wanted to arm wrestle with me. And I thought, well, what a, what a better opportunity than to say, hey, chance, I'm going to be out East Coast. And if you want to come up and pull, we can do some pulling. And then it, I, my brain thought, well, why not make it a, a thing, make, make it a super match? I mean, what do I, I don't have anything to lose. <laughs> and it's, it'll be more fun. It'll be more exciting. It'll bring maybe some more spectators and more uh, you know, publicity to the Travis's tournament. And, okay. Um, so to bring oh. back Wats -a Wax -a you once again, there, like you didn't even want to be filmed. Yeah. So that, like, yeah. that's a big, that's a, a well, big I'm, swing. I'm, 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 I'm still. I'm. A, I'm in the exact same state, state and frame of mind as I was in Waxahachie. Waxahachie. <laughs> Waxahachie. <laughs> nothing, nothing has changed. I mean, I'm. I'm. Ex I'm a, the exact same guy that was at that tournament in Texas. Um, and that's. And that's what when I said I wasn't going to pull, and I didn't want to pull, and I didn't. I wasn't going to pull anybody. And who did I end up getting to? Uh, I uh, pulled Corey West of all you know people because I'm just curiosity you know gets to the point where i just gotta yeah. i gotta see if i can still do it or hang and uh, i mean i even got a message i even got a message from bob brown because you went on the video you're like don't put this up don't put this up but then we put footage up i, I mean obviously yeah. michael todd put it up bob right. brown sent me a message bobby right. brown he goes hey john told you not to put that up <laughs> and what did you do uh, you put it up i'm like yeah yeah, yeah it doesn't hurt why? Why not? It doesn't hurt anything. I, I, I it's silly for me to act like that and, and pretend like yeah. it matters if what what you would put on the internet. So, I mean, the minute you knew Michael Todd was doing a channel, you're like, okay, well, if you're you know that he's gonna post it. It's like, <laughs> right? I mean, 
I yeah, just no, don't. I, you, ever... you can't arm. You can't arm wrestle anybody anymore. I, 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 you know, without it being on a YouTube channel somewhere. I mean, I went to practice in Utah, a little obscure thing with, you know, four or five guys and in, in the woods in some back bar, and it's it's you know it's yeah. ten thousand or twenty thousand hits on YouTube. I'm like Jesus. <laughs> this is okay. Practice. This is practice. I, I, okay okay hold on i have we have, do, you, do you know what super chats are i i do you do have you ever done a super chat no i've never i've never done anything with youtube i have never done an account or okay. um, or try to actually broadcast okay. anything on my youtube uh tim morgan put in a five dollar super chat he says how do we have the freaking goat on here and no super chats. Love you, John and Gary. Thank you, Tim Morgan. That five dollar super chat goes directly to Uncle John for his uh, recovery this evening. Um, <laughs> he's our so he, so. This, this is something that happens when you do a live thing through YouTube, right? Is that the way I understand yeah. it? Yeah. So you, I, I would you how, can you do this off your phone, or do you have to be on a computer to do a no, super you chat? Can, uh, do you have to have an account set up? Where so does the super here, chat money come from? <laughs> here, here's what I do. Like you said, you watched Michael Todd on TV. Mm-hmm. What I would normally do is I'd have, I I put it on my TV, but I also have the fee. I have the chat up on my phone. Ah, gotcha. So I, so, I have the video playing on my phone. And if I want to super chat, I just super chat through my phone. Right. But I'm watching through. It's easier for me to read on my phone and watch it on my television. So that's kind of how I do it. Right, right. But uh, I mean, you just put in your your credit card into Google, and then. <laughs> oh, so it's it's off the Google account, I guess. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So here is, I mean, just to give you the behind the scenes, YouTube creators were gonna, you know, riot against Google. They take a huge chunk. They take 30%. So I've heard even more of your like ad revenue. Okay. And in order to try to appease the creators, they, they add this, basically it's tipping. So it's like going to the restaurant, the super chats is the, the way the community can tip the creator. Right. And it's just to help YouTube. Google is not rich enough. Instead of reducing their cut, they said, why don't you just get money from your community? <laughs> right. So that's kind of how the super chats were born, but mm. they still take 30% of the super chats. It's, cr- <laughs> it's crazy. Mm. I mean, it's, but I mean, Hey, that's YouTube owns the world right now. And if we want to make a living or make right. a little side hustle, this is how no, it is. I, I, I seem to be watching more YouTube lately than uh, my TV. Now that I've somewhat discovered it than I do regular TV. I mean, the regular channels are just, or shit anymore. I mean, just yeah. news and, you know, um, so between YouTube and Netflix, it seems to be my, my TV well, watching. Well, just, you know, not to get too off topic, but, uh, I don't know if you have a TV provider, but if you cancel your cable or whatever, now do you have YouTube TV? So you can do an add on to YouTube through Google and you can watch regular TV channels. Oh right, like okay. YouTube TV. Yeah. No, I'm yeah, I'm not that big of a TV watcher, so I wouldn't I wouldn't need that. I. But Eric, anyway, Eric McAtee, five dollars super chat, no question. Thank you, Eric. We do appreciate it. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, I mean, we probably average uh, eighty to hundred bucks a Tuesday night in tips, nice. and then Uncle John and I split it. It's that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, but we, since Uncle John is sick, we'll still we'll still hook him up. Stacy Morgan, five dollars super chat. Third super chat's the charm. Thank you very much. Sap the B two ninety nine super chat. John, can you talk <laughs> about after pulling with John uh, Jordan Sill? I'd like to say that question for a, a, we haven't got to that yet, but we'll we'll come back to that. Thank you, uh, Sap the B. So, uh, John Brzink, I wanted to ask you, what do you think about social media, like? Um, I think like, it's a lot of work. You guys are putting a, a tremendous amount of time for little payback, but I, I think it's, I think it's good for the sport, especially the people that are um, interested in um, this particular sport of arm wrestling. It's uh, they would never have this, you know, type of communication 20, yeah. 30 years ago. So, I mean, it's, it's fantastic that everybody feels excited and hyped and kind of in the loop of everything that's going on with whatever sports you're interested in. Yeah, I was when I I, I knew uh, I wanted to do some research. I hadn't yet caught. I know you did a podcast with Ryan. I know you did it with Devin. I was like, damn it. I hadn't didn't have time to go watch those. So I was like, 
I feel bad asking you like the same questions, but I was like, that's right. Really? I got different answers. So. Yeah. That's good. I, something that interests me about John Brzezink is you've seen, like you've seen multiple times where we thought the sport was going to break through. I mean, you had over the top, you had polling John, you were involved in all the early, like Yukon Jacks, Yukon and... Jacks, like, like you, you've seen so many different, yeah. uh, yeah. Almost I mean, I, yeah, moments. Yeah. yeah. And, and to be honest, I think right now is with the internet and the support of just the fans through the internet is really it's be it's best chance to date of, of supporting itself through just people that love the sport. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see it's ever going to be outside of, of arm wrestlers. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, golfers support golf and but there's equipment to sell so there's some big companies involved but um yeah i mean if the, if the masses are just everybody in their in their kids and everybody's arm wrestling then i think it can you know support itself through the through the internet for sure so the the olympics are on i don't know if you're catching that but I, yeah a little bit i was watching the olympics and uh skateboarding is in there for the first time and i was like you know I don't, I don't see why arm wrestling couldn't have been an Olympic sport. I feel like someone has to take a lot of money and put the, on the arm wrestling Olympics in the same town, Tokyo at the same yeah. time and just call yeah. it the Olympics and uh, right. have the Olympics, and, like try to shut us down. And right. I mean, try to ride the wave or something like, I don't right. know. I was thinking well, that could being, being part of the Olympics. The reason why a lot of people want to be a part of the Olympics is being subsidized by the countries that, because it, you're part of the Olympics, right? I mean, it, yeah. I, I don't think it's, I mean, I don't know. I, I, w what's the reason for being or de desiring to be part of the Olympics for I most arm wrestlers? <laughs> I mean, exposure. That's what all I, I think it oh. gives you more exposure. Yeah. I would yeah. think. Well, did you ever care? Did you, were you no, ever ones on no, the, I was, I was never hopeful that we'd be in the Olympics and I didn't, I didn't really see much benefit of it, but maybe, I don't know, maybe, Maybe that title would have would have meant something. So you have over the top. I I we thought you thought uh, you know you guys. I, I mean, if you would have told me we're gonna have action figures, to me that's like, oh, we've really made it. The, big this time, is, right? This is the big time, and then it's like it doesn't happen. And I remember you thinking. You when I I I put up a video from over the top or talking to you about over the top of the back of Harold Ryden's backyard. And you were like, you were kind of like downplaying its impact. But in a lot of the commenters, the international guys were like, whoa, 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 John, 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 man. Internationally is how it really like. Right. Anyways. So like, how did it go from like being a Petaluma, you know, just Canada, USA thing to truly international? Right. I mean, over the top kind of. Yeah, the theaters. I mean, it, it was yeah. it went world. The, you know, the, that movie went worldwide. So anybody yeah. that was anywhere went to the theater that that weekend and went, "Wow, what's this?" You know, and so you and there, think, and there it sprouted. So you think YouTube could really be a difference maker that a a, a movie with Sylvester Stallone couldn't do or could do more. Yeah, I mean, I, I just think that arm wrestling is going to may become more popular and is going to have to be subsidized by the participants like it always has. But I think with the Internet, there can be tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of people that get excited about the sport and not only participate, but help support and fund um, super matches, matches that they get excited about wanting to see uh, Um and that could possibly turn into something that a, a big sponsor might take notice and say, Oh, wait a minute. Well, what do we got here? We got, we got an audience here of a uh, hundred thousand people. <laughs> this, this might be something we want, want to look into. Yeah. It's... We never had that in the past. I mean, I, I don't know if it'll ever get to that point, but it sure seems like, um, you know, Devin has quite the following of uh, tens of thousands. Right. So it's, it's not out of the realm to be, you know, in the, in that, hundreds of thousands or a million range of which, which would definitely, you know, take some sponsors might take notice then. Uh, you're wearing a wall shirt. Yeah, yeah. You noticed that, huh? Did you think, I mean, 
I, I don't know how to ask you this question. Like, is there one, is there any way you can rank all the big events in order of what you thought would actually change and make arm wrestling mainstream? Mm. Like you have no. over the top, you have pulling no, jump, yeah, over, over the, over the top. Ball, list, yeah, for UAL. Sure, yeah. Over the top for sure. Number one. <clears throat> um, you know, Yukon Jack back in the day in the, in the early mid nineties did a fantastic job, had a huge bud, budget to, um, you know, create a lot of excitement and gave arm wrestling a ton of exposure. So, I mean, they were right up there. Uh, WAL never had, you know, mainstream, you know, TV. Uh, but I think their production quality was probably the best to date. Um, how, uh, but, so can you explain how does Yukon Jack to me, when I look at that formula, I think, why couldn't that have been just kept Duke I mean, mainstream I think the laws I think the laws changed I think I think because they were using arm wrestling as a vehicle to get their product on the major networks to basically get Yukon Jack which couldn't get a couldn't buy a commercial on the networks on the networks through arm wrestling so but I think somehow the laws changed where that wasn't oh. viable anymore it wasn't it wasn't possible well, to do that's very clever then yeah. that's what they're yeah, that's what that was their whole thing. Yeah. Uh, I was just in a. If uh, you ever heard of sports clips? Mm, I think isn't that something that Devin mentioned that uh, sports maybe... clips where I get my hair cut. Oh, sports clips. No. OK, no, I haven't heard of sports. Clips. My wife does hair, so she does my own. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. So I'm yeah. sitting in sports clips and they have all the televisions and they're all playing the mainstream sports on the mainstream channels. And I'm like, why isn't there? I was talking to the boss. I'm like, well, the, the sh- why aren't you playing your? Own, why aren't you playing your own content like sports clips, arm wrestling, like sponsor a sport and do something? Like, it's, it's so weird to me that all these people they just play the the. It's like no one thinks outside of the box anymore. Like <laughs> I, I hand it to Yukon Jack. That's a very uh, creative way to try to get your product out there. Right. Uh, but uh, what about UAL? Do you put you? Uh, UAL, yeah, 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 UAL just never, you know, had had definitely the backing, the money, but I don't know. Yeah, that was, yeah, no, I I never had high hopes for UAL. How did all the money (laughs) that Robert Drink was throwing at? How did he not? Uh, He just, I guess, he just thought money was the answer to everything, and that, that that it would figure its way out. But that was just just not a bad investment i mean i don't know just okay okay so when i come into the sport and i meet you and i meet dave devoto and john bergson and everyone's sending me tapes and i said i have so many tapes from random arm wrestling that was on espn or just random shows the yukon jack and the other stuff like karen bean was triple at some what was mm-hmm. the what was the one where Dave Randall and uh, Travis Bajan and uh, mm-hmm. Georgia mm-hmm. like that was on television at some right. point? I think that was a, a Matosian uh, production, wasn't it? Didn't Savan do that? Or was well, that- he filmed he filmed that event, but I remember that, that that particular event on a previous year was like on television one year on ESPN. Yeah, I think yeah. he got ESPN for a year or two, but well, no, yeah, he got, mean, that was the Rising Sun, Mohegan Sun, a uh, Rising Sun, Indiana. No, I was thinking the the nationals that he had done yeah, that yeah. was probably that was, shown reruns a million times yeah, on yeah. ESPN. It was a very good production for just for just him and uh, yeah, yeah, that uh, was Bessie to do. That, that was just yeah, low, that was low, it, low, super low budget, but it was yeah, good that was two thousand four nationals in Indiana. Right. Well, anyways, my point is, how do all those random shows get on television and then UAL didn't like? They had a bigger budget than Bessie and Savan. Yeah. I mean, um, uh, the quality wasn't there. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Yeah. They, they went too much, too much flash, not enough uh, grassroots yeah. appeal. I don't know. It, 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 to me, it wasn't as good, but um, yeah, nobody's really figured out the, the proper formula to ha- have it really be entertaining where um, it can, that could generate a bigger audience. Um, I think what's going to have to happen is just, a lot of participation in the big audience and then yeah. 
Uh, we have we have some more super chats, Mr. John Brzezink. Carolyn right. Loomis, she says, Gary, what does John think about the Velcro strap? Now, before you answer that question, I I remember the Velcro strap being everywhere during my decade, 2004 to 2012, 13. And then right. I came back and it had all but disappeared. What? I mean, what? I, I love the Velcro. I, strap. I'm, you're, I'm the wrong person to ask about straps. I, I even, I have a up to this day. I don't know if I can put a strap on, you know. And I've been arm wrestling for 35 years. It's, it's not something that I've ever really analyzed. I mean, when I first started, it, there was the Dave Patton strap that had the loops and the figure eight, um, and that seemed pretty fair. And then they got decided they needed to get rid of the the loop, the steel loop, for some reason, and had the single strap. Um, and then, of course, we're, we progress to figuring out that you need to go under the under the loop versus underneath the loop. And I don't know. I I don't know. Velcro strap. I guess it. I guess it tore apart, right? I mean, the only it's just as good as the the buckle. It's just you can't cinch it down quite as tight. The palms wouldn't be quite yeah, as tight. Tra- Travis Bajan said that the Velcro strap is equal when it's brand new. It's when you use the Velcro over and over that it, and it's going to slip. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, cause I imagine you could probably pull it and tighten it down just as tight as you could. Well, maybe not quite as tight cause you could cinch down. I mean, yeah. Without okay. putting a, without putting a ratchet on the one that we currently have. I mean, I don't know. If you okay. Get it much, so any tighter. I, we, I've been on this rant about, so I had an event where I changed up the rules. I had an event like six weeks ago and I said, the ref, will do the same tightness it will just be and uh the athletes cannot ask the 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 ref will not change the tightness for the athletes i thought it should be more like the cadence like like leonard harkless has a cadence it's it's never changed and i feel like a strap application should be the same across all events for a particular ref whatever they are just to make it more fair Right. It seems to me like this whole like, can you make it tighter or looser? Right, right. Where do yeah. you do you have an opinion I, and on I, that? And I, I don't, I don't know. To be honest, I don't. I haven't practiced it enough to know what I f- personally feel better at. But I would think, for my style, that I would prefer it to be loose. But I've never argued the fact when somebody's wanted wanted it tighter. But I've I, I've seen enough stuff now on YouTube and people discussing it that I start to think, okay, yeah, maybe it is. It it would be nice not to have that damn thing. So so tight that your hands are no matter what kind of wrist flexion you have on top of what you have that your wrists are going to basically be flat because it's so damn tight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, n- I never really, I, I, I don't know. I'm, You're always pe- just a go people, with the people, flow kind people, of guy. Yeah. People act like I'm some, you know, deep thought thinking arm wrestler that have, yeah, I'm not a Devin. I don't, I haven't analyzed every little aspect of arm wrestling. I, I normally just try to go up there and just, um, make the other guy happy and just, just I'll power them and just, you know, when so I was, I've never, when I was reviewing the footage of you and Jerry Cataret, uh, from UAL, uh, Venice beach, one of his biggest complaint was that the strap is too loose. Strap too is loose. too loose. Right. And it's like, right. would that have made a difference? Yeah. I mean, well, I don't know. But yeah. I, I guess I, you, you could probably make the transition a little easier with Jerry if it's loose, if you've got, cause you've got, tremendous hand advantage um and if the, if the strap is super tight and he's able to maintain pretty flat flat palm to palm um then that turn that rotation into you know to, to try to finish would be a lot more difficult so yeah i imagine he would want it super super tight i will continue down the path to promote as long as as long as i stay in the sport of arm wrestling that we need to get away from that the the, the rest change the tightness it should just be the point right. of the, the strap is to keep your hands together. That's, that's right. it. I right. mean, well, gonna... there should, and, and yeah. And, 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 and not so tight that there should, people should be able to um, arm wrestle. I mean, arm wrestling is, you got to be able to still have some technique and be able to flex your wrist and be able to um, pronate and then to move around a little bit. You can't, um, but this is, this Excellent. is what I would Excellent point. Mike's Madness, 499 Super Chat. Get back in the game, John. Don't just make it a one off. <laughs> well, I'm, I always, I, you know, the last five, six years since I've been out, I, I'm, I'm always thinking about it, like always thinking that, well, not maybe a comeback, but I'm always somewhat curious and, and testing the waters a little bit. But um, 
yeah, that's going to be my, my thing from here on out. I'm not, I'm not ever going to be fully invested in the, you know, seven days a week thinking about arm wrestling only and just pursuing it like that anymore. It's could be reaching 60 here shortly. <laughs> here. <laughs> I will continue again. <laughs> I will continue to say to arm wrestlers, I, I just have this opinion. All these elite guys, the thing you have going for you is that you've developed your body to be an arm wrestler. Isn't arm wrestling one of the very few sports where you, you could still be competitive? Like um, as John yeah, Rizink, competitive, competitive, but when you start, when you start remembering how you, you, your, your brain still wants your body to work like it used to in its twenties and thirties and forties. And when it doesn't, um, I think, as many as we've seen, some of the older guys have, have basically gotten hurt because their brains are saying, hey, do this. And the, uh, the, the arm and the body isn't quite the same as it used to be to be able to pull it off. But the, the mind still tries to tries to make it do it. And the end of getting getting hurt. And that's my then my worry. I, I don't want to I don't want to cripple myself because of the sport of arm wrestling. And, and I have a bad feeling that my, my brain will do that to me uh, at some point. And then, then I'll really have to sit back and say, okay, dumbass, why did you push it this far and, and, and uh, end up doing that? Hopefully it won't be this weekend. But, <laughs> um, yeah. So it's, it's hard to, it's hard to have that um, competitive spirit and drive when in the back of your mind, you're always worried about that. Like, okay, your things aren't, put together quite the same as they used to be put together and you hit hard, you move fast, or you, you do something you know, out of position, you can, you can you know, get hurt. Yeah. I was thinking like back, I was, I was going through the footage of Devin Larratt, Travis Bajan from 2008 Manchester. And I was talking to Travis and I was like, imagine let's pick Devin Larratt and Travis Bajan, but let's add, <laughs> for, add 40, 40 years to you guys. Now you're like 80 something. Mm-hmm. And uh, we put you out on the beach and these two 80 year old guys talking smack and arm wrestling. And tell me that's not going to get a hundred million views. <laughs> right. I mean, well, the yeah, general there might, public, there might, there might be a market for the old guys at some point. Yeah. But I, the I general public, I think would eat up, eat up old men, just destroying, you know, these young peeps. Who don't know <laughs> who'd never arm wrestled before. Okay. Uh, Eric McAtee, if the world of arm wrestling came together with a GoFundMe for him, oh, damn, I lost. Uh oh. If the world of arm wrestling came together with a GoFundMe for him to go to South America to get stem cell therapy, would he partake? <laughs> Thank you for your $5 super chat. I don't even know what stem cell therapy is. Yeah. Um, and, I, and, and, I, and I've done some research and it's, um, I'm, I'm, I'm skeptical. Um, some people say it works. Some people say it's bullshit. Um, it's a 50, 50, and then you got to put in the placebo effect. And, um, I, I'm not, I, and, and even if it did work a hundred percent for me, I'm still 57 years old. I mean, there's only so much stem cells could do. I mean, yeah. it could, it could, it could heal my injuries, but it's still not going to take away the fact that I'm, 57 years old and have arthritis and I'm getting older each year. And I mean, it's not the fountain of youth. If it, if, if you tell me that, you know, fountain of, uh, fountain of youth uh, is in South America. Yeah. I'm, I'm headed that way. And I'll, uh, that's great. But um, yeah, that's, that's the thing. I mean, I just don't know if it's really a, even if it is a fix, it's just a, it's just a temporary fix to what prolong something for another couple three years, four years, five years, two years, one year. <laughs> Uh, have you had a chance to talk to Chance Shaw yet? I was on his show, I think three, four, four, five days ago. Yeah. Now when, when we, before we went on, um, before we went live tonight, I said, Oh, to I, what I loved about you is you, you know, you kind of actually put the, your foot forward to, to, uh, get in a match with chance. And, uh, you said, I don't think I quite realized. What did you say? You said you. I don't think I quite realized the level he was at. Yeah. No. I. 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 I thought he was good, but um, the more I've been watching of his interviews and and um, well, his interviews, he's obviously young and very confident. But um, yeah, he might be a little bit better than I than I imagined he 
he was at this particular point in time. So, <laughs> are you saying you may not have put the proposal out to arm wrestle? No, no, no. I still wanted, I still wanted arm wrestle. He wanted arm wrestle me, and um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm all for arm wrestling. Whoever wants to arm wrestle me, I mean, it's as long as uh, I, I put myself in a little bit of a, a position, and I feel guilty about. Um, you know, this, uh, people staking, um, if there wasn't the staking involved, I, I, I would feel no pressure going and, and showing up and doing oh, my best and, and, getting, and getting my ass whooped, but the staking when, change it. it, it well, well, yeah, because people, people remember me as, as one thing and expect me to be this, that, and the other. And, um, and bet that money that it, it makes me, um, it puts added pressure on me. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Versus just going and, and just, you know, doing my best and whatever happens, happens. I don't think you should put pressure on yourself. Just, no, no. Yeah. I mean, you I have felt it a little to... bit and I've, 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 I've tried to air my feelings like, okay, guys, <laughs> uh, you know, be careful. You know, don't gamble responsibly. <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't, I think if I could speak for the community here, they just love you being back and if we want if we watch all your matches throughout history i don't think there's yeah the, the, the information is out there i guess they they're, they're it's not like they're not not somewhat educated they they should know um you know my situation and chance's situation and then they should make an educated guess on uh, which way they want to go so yeah no i shouldn't feel guilty about that but it it does make me it does put a little extra pressure on on me to to probably pull a lot harder and be a lot more aggressive and do my absolute very best war. I probably wouldn't put myself in that type of situation if other people weren't gambling on me. So I I worry that I worry that I'll be um, more aggressive than, than I probably should be at this point in my life. <laughs> so yeah. hopefully, it, hopefully it works out. I mean, did you have any say like chance? I don't know if you can see chance, but we brought him on. He, this is a call in show. So we brought him on. Did, did you guys have any say on there being stakes or not stakes? Um, I, I think kind of in the spur of the uh, moment after I, uh, we decided that we were going to do this to um, I was uh, proposed by Neil and Devin or, or kind of talked to about how it worked a week or so before. So I just automatically thought, Oh, that's, you know, let's do that too. I mean, I do all the avenues. I mean, it's I mean, the way we kind of went about setting this match up was pretty spur of the moment and silly um, as far as a promotional aspect goes, but um, yeah, no, it just seemed like, Oh, uh, this is new. Let's give this a try. Might as well be part of this. This is the kind of new latest, greatest thing. And, Da, 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 da. But then afterwards, it's like, okay, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you sell out, never, like, here's the thing the arm wrestlers, they're really getting into this. They're like, I mean, mm-hmm. it's not, they're betting on it every match. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yep. I mean, uh, so I see how it could give you pressure. But so we're watching the Olympics and the Simone Biles just pulled out. Right. Uh, I, you know, I heard a little bit about that. I don't she, know exactly I mean, everything. I'm- She's been now declared like the greatest of all time. And she's holding the sport up of women's gymnastics. And it's like, she straight up said, Hey man, this pressure, this pressure is hmm. getting to me. Gotcha. I got to yeah. take a mental day. It's yeah. Like, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, a, that's the thing when you're, you're expected to do certain things and you start, it's, it's yeah, your mind can mess with you versus just being a young kid. First time at the Olympics, you probably wouldn't have anywhere near that, you know, that confusion going on so does being the goat do you feel i think that probably yeah, yeah. probably messes with me but i'm i'm past that i'm 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 so far past that that i don't you know I, yeah i don't i don't feel i don't feel pressure about my performance for myself but like i said the, the, for other people's money that now i, I start to i start to i i feel a little pressure but i shouldn't but chance how you doing I'm doing good, Gary. How are you doing? I, I watched your I wa- <laughs> there he I'm, is. <laughs> I'm doing good. I watched your live today while you were playing some video games. And I heard you say that uh watching John arm wrestle last week 
late weekend, uh, you saw his wrist get cracked a little bit, gave you some hope. <laughs> I did. I did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, you're, you're, you're very observant. If you notice that, yeah, my hand and uh, wrist isn't, isn't quite the same as it used to be. Um, I, I, you know, other people notice it too. They're like, your forearm isn't quite as big as it used to be. Yeah. Like, <laughs> shut the hell up. <laughs> I, I, I better it's, be it's observing going bit. into this. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I have another, for, forgive me for the super chats, uh, but the, they're coming in at the table, 799 Brzezink on here. Take my money. Thank you at the <laughs> table. Ziggy 21, $5 super chat. I think you answered this question in, in a waxahachie is push in 2015, the strongest opponent the goat has ever faced. In my mind, he was just because of the way he smashed me, the way he smashed Dave Chafee and then smashed me. Um, yeah. And I know I was, we were, both of us were probably beat up a little bit. I think we had pulled like two weeks before, but um, yeah, no, it's, it's funny how certain situations like that can really leave a, uh, a big impression on you. <laughs> and yeah, he's, he definitely, um, it's a shame that, uh, you know, yeah. what happened happened. Uh, I would have loved to have seen him pull uh, Dennis that year. And I think he would have uh, took his, took his spot as the, as the king of arm wrestling for sure. Uh, sap the beat. He put a super chat. Well, uh, he's got a couple ones. John, can you get back into your 50 year old shape? <laughs> I'm still 50, 57, yeah. uh, 50 years old. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't think it's, I don't know. I don't think it's possible. Yeah, no. no. I thought <laughs> I read a comment that like, Oh, if John loses the chance, then he might like disappear. Like, are you, <laughs> is that, yeah. could that happen? Like, if no. you don't do well, would we, like, you just disappear on us? Because no, we I've, love I've, you around. I've been, I've, I've, well, I've, I've, people don't realize I've disappeared. I've, I've been gone for five years. I haven't really pulled it. Yeah, but now you're teasing the, us. You're taking uh, us out on uh, dates. A, a, a paid event here and there. But other than that, I've been, I've been pretty, pretty good for keeping away from all the small, easy money tournaments, even the local ones. So um, I've been behaving. Is there a chance you could do it like you did back in the day where you started just showing up a bunch of Leonard and Denise events? Yeah, I don't, that? I, don't, I, don't, no, I don't see myself doing that anymore. I mean, it was easy to do back uh, back in the day when I was working out of Salt Lake. Uh, Salt Lake was a hub for Delta, and we could pretty much we, – well, we did fly pretty much everywhere and anywhere. Um, living down here in Phoenix now, I have to have to make it to a base station before I end up going somewhere. So it, it ends up being an all-day adventure to get to – to these small events anymore it's not quite as easy eric resent 699 super chat john out of your 40 plus years in the sport am i correct that your early days in the sport pre over the top was the most exciting time for you oh for sure yeah no i was in chances shoes and actually four or five years even younger um yeah no going with my dad is to uh, big tournaments and beating the likes of clay rosencrantz and johnny walker and the big heavyweights as a, you know, a snotty nose kid, uh, was, was super exciting. I mean, no pressure, nothing to lose. Just, just smiles all the time. <laughs> I, I was asking you earlier, I think we were still off camera, but I was talking about Chance Shaw's age. Like he's so young. He's like mm -hmm. a little baby over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. After no, you he's... arm wrestle him, you'll be able to give us like a pretty good. We've been talking about like where does Chance Shaw? It's a you know Chance Shaw, Corey West, Derek Smith. Who else am I missing on that list? So we're like uh, the four guys, and they're like pretty much the three. Like you'll be able to give us, tell us what his true potential is in the sport, right? Yeah. Um, well, those three guys that you mentioned are all completely different arm wrestlers and different strengths. I mean, well, I guess maybe Corey and Derek are probably similar bill, but no, we were talking about these guys is like, who's going to be the man in the five guy. to seven years in like, in like the USA. And it's like, right. these guys are in the conversation. Right, right, right. What a better way to, you know, give us an indication of where, where he could end up than one John Brzezink. Yeah. Well, it's been almost a year now since I went across the table from Corey. Um, Derek, How long has it been with Derek? Two years, maybe three, maybe even three years. Well, mm -hmm. I, I take that back. I think I think last year I snuck down to California um, when I was trying to start training for the top eight. I ended up pulling him again at practice. 
Um, but I'm not, I'm not positive about that. I, I know my super max with, with him was probably three years ago or so, but yeah. I'm, I'm still a little bit shocked that you put the first, first foot. Okay. One, how does Travis Bajan get you at all his functions? Like you guys got like some secret <laughs> deal. Like he pays me. I like, he, he, he always calls you. <laughs> he Travis says, dude, <laughs> what is it going to cost me? <laughs> Since well, it's really expensive for you, Travis, you're all the way across the country. And, um, but he normally comes through. He finds. Yeah. I, I love it. I love it that he's able to help get you out like into the world. And <laughs> right. then you're like, so you were basically like, Hey, I'm going to be over there. Right. Chance reached out a couple of times where I was like, no, I can't do it. And then you thought right. of him. That's a pretty yeah. good compliment that you thought yeah. of. A, yeah. Well, I, I thought to myself, yeah, why not? I mean, I, yeah. Good a time as any. And it's an event that Travis wanted to, to promote and, and, you know, make a big deal. And, you know, I think this is going to be a win-win for everybody. And are you, are you second guessing how, cause now you see how excited the community gets. Are you like, Oh shit, I brought too much attention, <laughs> too much attention. <laughs> well, like I said, the only thing I feel guilty about is the gambling aspect. I mean, I, I don't, um, I don't, I don't, I've never, I've never really gotten too butthurt about getting my ass whooped. And, um, um, I'm, um, I worry in the back of my mind a little bit sometimes that at this point, my, life of uh, doing silly stupid things to hurt myself um and that might be the case when there's people's mind think that uh but yeah no um i i, for, I completely even forgot the question now. <laughs> like do you wish you kept more low profile on no, this match? no 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 because um, unlike waxahachie Everyone's filming. Everyone's putting it on YouTube. Right. Well, Everyone's so, talking well, so about the, it. Yeah. So what's the difference? I mean, whether we officially pull for five rounds and it's a it's somewhat of a promotion and people um, get hyped and excited and get to, to bet on a little bit and argue and debate and, and talk about it versus me just casually showing up and then Michael saying, hey, I want you to pull Corey and, and pulling Corey and then yeah. it being videoed and then shown on the internet. I mean, the way I did this with, with, um, Chance is it was ridiculous. Also, I mean, we should have <laughs> we should have got some promotion going. Got we should have something set up in our boards or something. Negotiated some deal with Neil Pickup or or who knows who would have possibly done something in the future. But um, that's just not the way it went down. So hey, um, win or lose, we Chance, can always have a rematch somewhere. Rematch. That's maybe I should negotiate a rematch. With you. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so. What I love when I watch. When I watch you arm wrestle, John, what, I mean, not just your record and how long you've dominated and everything. What I love about you arm wrestling is you always, you always tested your opponent. You were never afraid of going into any particular direction. If you were right. winning, you, you went into people's power and you, it's like, it's, you just thought, made, yeah. you just made yeah. it exciting. Well, I was comfortable. I, I, I had control and I was, I was comfortable um, that's long gone now. Now I'm red line, full speed ahead, <laughs> panic mode, hanging out for dear life. So <laughs> you'll see a different, different me here and uh, come Saturday. <laughs> so because you're older, you, you can't afford that adventurous riskiness game playing, if you will. No, no, especially, uh, yeah, no, especially not in the situation that uh, is, is, is happening on Saturday. Chance, what are you gonna do with John Brzink? What's your uh, what's your strategy? Uh, hopefully, go from center to the pin pad, and that's it. Oh, that's the goal, right? That's right. That's the easiest route. Yeah. How much? <laughs> how much older is John Brzink than you? Twenty four years. 24. Over double my age. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. If, if we were to do a poll, I've seen oh. some polls on Reddit. More. What is what is the odds here? 50 50? Is John like what's the picks? What are people is well, John overwhelmingly the favorite or uh on on polls he's he's been the favorite. However, on stake kings, he's still the favorite, but by a smaller margin. Um I've I've been able to keep up with 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 him on blocks for the most part. 
Like I've just about sold out my fourth block now. So we'll probably have a fifth block open tonight. Wow. <laughs> so being that we're on our fifth block, some amount of people have to have confidence in me. I think, I think the people that have confidence are in me are, are the people that have been paying closer attention to arm wrestling. Yeah. The last they're the people that you're the people in the know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought this whole staking thing could be a way to the, you know, the people like to bet out on just random shit. If I was like a lifetime gambler and I was, I mean, how many different things can you gamble on, right? It's it's old and stale. If you found out about arm wrestling, I thought that would be a unique way to get uh, eyeballs that are not arm wrestlers. This, so that's why I'm excited about the staking. I don't, I don't, I'm hoping that in the future it's mostly non-arm wrestlers doing the stakes rather than mm-hmm. the community itself. I think that that would be the the key. Yeah. yeah. If the payback was was better, I think you'd probably see that. If it was more of a, a coin toss, uh, fifty, you know, hundred percent of your money back on a, on a dollar bet, I think yeah. that that would probably be more of the case. But uh, chance, what do you think when you hear John say the, the staking makes him nervous? He he texted me the other day that, so I knew. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, I think st- staking makes me nervous as well because. Uh, like I told John, like it's my friends and family betting on me. So I feel even more guilty. Like if I lose, I'm losing people's money that I know. Right. So, yeah. yeah. So, this gamble is uh, an interesting uh, business. I, I think for the first little while, it's going to take pullers getting used to uh, having money gambled on them before, uh, before yeah, everyone's I'll, comfortable. I'll tell you the story that I told Chance the other day. I was driving the car. We're coming back from dinner with my wife. And I asked her, I said, uh, you know, how much, uh, how much faith do you have in me, hon? I mean, well, how do you think, what do you think my chances are? Um, do you have a lot of faith in me uh, coming up in this, this weekend match? And um, how much, you know, how much would you be willing to bet? She <laughs> says, well, she, she says, well, I would go a hundred dollars. And I kind of, you know, I had a beer or two in me already. I'm like a hundred dollars. That's all you, that's all the belief you have in me is a hundred bucks. I said, what about a thousand? What about 10,000? No way. Absolutely not. <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay. So there's not a whole lot of faith in me. Basically, you're, you're you'll 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 throw the the uh, the tip money away, but you know, real money you're not going to gamble. So. I mean, that begs the question: Have you put any money on yourself, Mister Brzezink? I have or not. I've, I, I've tried. I've, I've looked at state kings just to see how it worked, and I I never put any money towards it. To, to do any gambling yet. And I, I don't know. I, I guess I would, I don't know. Is it even, is it even proper to be betting on yourself? You're, you're allowed to bet like on that. yourself. You're not allowed to bet on your opponent. On the opponent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that <laughs> definitely would be, oh, <laughs> definitely be sketchy. Do we yeah. know what time this is going off? So what I was told originally was nine 30, but now it's supposedly 10. Cause I guess the ROTN starts at nine 30. Oh, wow. The and finals? It yeah. It's so, <laughs> so late. <laughs> I'm, we might have to talk bedtime. to Travis about doing a little earlier. Yeah, I know. Someone's going to have to bring me coffee if it's 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, You'll be half you asleep. Get, yeah, now my odds are even better. At least it's on the East Coast. I mean, if it was on in my time zone, I would definitely be in bed by that yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. So you guys are going to be like the main event kind of like. At the whatever. very end. At the very. Uh, I think. Yep. Uh, I think. I mean, I know that's bad for you guys, but I think for an audience that that's good. Because you yeah. get in early. And so you guys won't be arm wrestling anybody but each other. Correct. Yeah. I, yeah, I, pro- no. I propose that we could go first. That way, if we either of us want to pull the tournament, we have that ability. But uh, Travis yeah. preferred that we pulled at the end. So are you guys, um, will all your matches go to the strap? We discussed that on Chance's uh, little podcast, and we – kind of decided well and i hadn't really put a tremendous amount of thought i listened to devin's um interview and and um and basically the the fact that if you want to go to the strap anybody can pretty much prolong it and go to the strap so instead of fooling around and 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 going that route we decided to um have four of the five matches be automatically right to the straps really obviously you know um i don't know what what would did we decide Coin flip to see which one got the yeah yeah we're just good gonna side to begin with I mean yeah. that doesn't really matter to me if we're going four and four it doesn't really matter but um yeah and then the fifth match if it ends up being you know 
something that needs to be done, um, we'll be no strap. We'll figure out have to ha- have to arm wrestle in such a way where the strap will just not be applied. Whether that means pulling um, in a half hook um, or the old AWI style, or you just stay in a power lock, stay in a hook. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I think that was, I think that, we, if there is a fifth match, we'll start like partially cupped in. And if it right. slips, then we might have to go full power lock. Stay, stay hooked. Yeah. What power yeah. lock? What? What? Yeah. Well, I think both. I think both of our hands are strong enough that once we start with a partial hook, that the our our hands will be strong enough to dictate whose pronation is is more dominant. To I mean, I think once in a in a half hook, um, we'll both of us will be able to control the other. Um, if the pronation is strong enough to do so, I know, I feel like my hand will be strong enough if, if the pronation is strong enough to get your hand there. Yeah. 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 So uh, I think uh, you're probably in the same boat. So uh, yeah. John Brzezink, Sap the B asked if you could talk uh, about your Jordan uh, Sill match. I thought it was really interesting that you went on Facebook and you're like, Hey guys, uh, I arm wrestle Jordan. I'm not, um, <laughs> I'm not. Oh, he like, destroyed my confidence. I mean, every time you, I've, Jordan. I've, pulled, I've pulled Jordan uh, thousands and thousands of times. And I've, I've um, in fact, I pulled him at practice when I was getting ready for top eight last year at Bob's practice. And he was telling me how great a shape he was in and how he's never been stronger. And I just felt like, well, oh, you're pretty easy. <laughs> the, after the tournament last weekend, that's the different Jordan. Sill. <laughs> I, what the, uh, I couldn't move him. I mean, I um, normally when I'm in a little bit of a cup position, I feel my pronation is pretty good and I can kind of, you know, mobilize a match and, 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 and at least feel comfortable stopped with back pressure and hand control. Um, yeah, no, Jordan felt really, really ridiculously strong. I mean, isn't, of course we slow pulled. We, we went, we went in kind of a, both into not a full hook, but partial hook. And then we both hand pressure and rolled at the same time. And, um, yeah. So, I mean, let's look at this a couple of ways. I take it your Facebook post is you're, you're saying that means you're less than rather than, I mean, Jordan still is allowed to improve over these years, right? It doesn't mean you've. No, no. I, it just, it just, it just surprised me how either weak I was or how uh, uh, strong um, Jordan, Jordan was. And, and for Jordan to get beat by chance, um, am I going to come out and say that, I don't think that I could beat Jordan on a straight up ready go with a referee straight wrist. I still think I could beat him. So I think I'm still like where chances at, but I'm just telling you that in the past, Jordan Sill that I used to work out with wasn't the Jordan Sill that I pulled last weekend. So, I mean, you also on the practice table, you're not going in hungry right. and fired up. No, like- no, 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 no. I've, I've got a, I've got a few more things that, that I'm able to do um, when there's a, a, a setup that, that, that Jordan's capable of, I think. So, so, but I'm just saying he he had more horsepower. <laughs> is there a chance? Did you pay attention to Devin Laird's social media game versus Michael Todd? He like really. No. He was being really, you know, tr- tricky. Is there a chance you're? Devin you're was sandbagging. His, he was like yeah. saying, "Oh, I'm weak. I'm tired. All this stuff." Oh yeah, no, yeah. no, no. Like, what if what if John Brzezink is just talk to Devin and, and learn how to play the? <laughs> I don't the think game. it's going to change anything. I don't think it's going to mess with Chance's mind. I don't think no. he's going to come in any more <laughs> relaxed <laughs> or feeling sorry for me. So I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't see where my angle would be, Gary. <laughs> Definitely not. This is, I mean, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for me, right? Like, it's it's not very often that someone. Uh, in, in my shoes gets to pull against you. So what one way or another, whether you were like fresh off the couch or training for the last right, two years right. for this match, I'm, no, taking I'm, it as I'm, serious looking, as I I'm looking forward to it. And I, I am, yeah. I am also, and I'm, like I said, I, I just, there's just a couple aspects that, that, that make me a little bit more pressure than I really should be putting on myself at this point. But um, no, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it either way. How, how it goes for sure. So let's talk about, uh, so I, I feel bad. So when I think of John Merzink, I, I always know that you like the money and the, 
you know, we want we as arm wrestling fans, we want you to get paid. Like, does money like making great money arm wrestling? Does that change your motivation to return? Oh, it, it, it was it was always my motivation in, in the for most of my career. I mean, I I didn't I didn't enjoy going just to beat people at the at Leonard and Nisa's tournaments every other weekend. It was because you know. I'd make five, six thousand dollars here, a thousand dollars there. Um, so it, that was um, that was my motivation, just to collect a, a, a paycheck that was a, a, a fun hobby. So if we had to think of what, like this return of John Brzezink, is it really dependent on like it, we got to make sure you get big paydays? No, 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 no. Well, <laughs> different situation now. Yeah, no. If it was twenty years ago. Um, or yeah, if I was in my forties, yeah, no, that, that motivation would definitely be needed for me to continue to pursue and, 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 but that's not, that's not the reason I'm not arm wrestling now, Gary. It's because there's still some money to be had probably out there, but, um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's just, you know, age thing in the wear and tear that's, yeah. it's finally got to me. So. And all the money in the world right now, I don't think it's is going to change my abilities in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> so, like to just exaggerate, if if arm arm wrestling had made it, and there was twenty arm wrestling channels with a million plus subs, and arm wrest arm wrestlers were just crushing it at the elite level, your return you would still be uh, limited by what your body can do. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. That's just a given. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, uh, uh, well, we, 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 it's just stem cells. I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not unusual. It's going to happen to everybody. <laughs> yeah. 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 I know. It's just, you know, the, those, there's those of us that want you to go till you're like a hundred. Right, right, right. <laughs> I mean, not everyone is like Chan they're Shaw. Just, yeah. Who's they're they're freaking a you're teenager. Just, you're, you're just not trying hard enough anymore. You need to just try harder. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Thanks for that advice. I'll try harder <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, do you have you mentioned Neil? I mean, are you you gonna? Is there arm wars in your future? Um, no. And I'll leave it at that. Never an arm wars. <laughs> Never. My future. No. Hmm. But you are do. Oh, is are, are you a PAL guy? I I. I I'm a little behind on what you're contracted to do with. No, Igor. no. Well, I, I don't even know if, yeah, I am somewhat contracted, but I don't even know if that contract would hold up seeing that it was supposed to be X, Y, and Z last year, a year and a half ago. So um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that would even be. After, will you continue calling, uh, get, <coughs> finding matches on uh, Facebook? <laughs> Who will you go after after uh, you dominate Chance Shaw? I'm putting all my money on John Brzezink, Chance. Sorry, sorry I, to make I, you lose I, money this, again. This, 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 was, this was just a really, um, just a special situation. I, I don't, you know, um, if I beat Chance or I don't beat Chance, I don't know if there's anybody else out there that I really want to arm wrestle. Uh, I can't think of anybody. <laughs> um I'll you mentioned Derek Smith. I mentioned you mentioned Derek Smith. I've already arm wrestled him. I don't know. I mean, I know he's a little bigger version, uh, but that doesn't excite me. Um, who else did you mention? Oh, Corey West. I do want to arm wrestle Corey West again. I want to wrestle Corey West straight up with a with yeah. a referee ready to go. And know. maybe maybe he's way out of my league right now. But the Corey West that I pulled last year, um, I felt like if I had had a referee and we started straight um i would have had a chance against him well so. cory cory's pulling uh todd hutchings uh october 16th so maybe you can decide after that match right yeah well yeah i don't i don't you know i don't even know where i stand with a, a guy like todd hutchings i mean i trained with him so much i know what he felt like when i was in fairly good shape a really good shape um, so maybe I'm fooling myself. Like I, there's no possible way that I could beat Todd, but I still think there may be a lane for me personally, even in my weakened state to, to at least make him, make him sweat a little bit. Well, I, I might be a little bit biased, but I, I do think that, uh, Corey and myself and, and Derek are, are right there with Todd Hutchings, mm -hmm. uh, these days. So, mm -hmm. you know, if, if Corey beats him or, or doesn't, 
you can kind of gauge where he's mm-hmm. at. Yeah. Right. After we pull. Uh, I, I also had a question. Has, has Igor uh, talked to you at all about this match contradicting with top eight or no. anything? No, no, not at all. I haven't, I haven't heard. I've heard zero from um, Igor. In fact, uh, first I've heard from him in a year and a half or so has been from Krill to Russell David in uh, um, Moscow. Um, then I kind of reached out after the Moscow thing fell apart. Like, okay, well, the last I heard you were going to have me arm wrestle when Levon and um, Dave Chaffee were working arm wrestle. No, that's not the case. It's going to be probably, and this is what made me kind of raise an eyebrow, like, okay, like this might not ever happen, right? Um, it's going to be maybe late October, early November. We're not sure yet. We, we don't have a venue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I'm 50-50 I'm on the fence, like just saying, okay, guys, I'm, 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 I'm not going to be a part of this thing anymore. It's just too, too, uh, too sketchy. But then again, I, I tell myself, why would you do that? Maybe in six months you'll feel differently and you want to, it'll be some big fancy thing that they've got pants yeah. and girls and in, in Dubai and on the top level floor of something. <laughs> and I want to come and hang out and party. And, and Yeah, of so course. I don't want to, I don't want to completely shut the door on it. Uh, John. I, so I often, when I think about, I have these thoughts in my head where I'm thinking about who's the future you know, who's the next John Brzezink and all that, you know, everyone, everyone asked that nobody. And uh, I, <laughs> I remember when you arm wrestled, when John Bergson had you come to the event and you arm wrestled, um, I think it was like a hundred people. Right. Do you remember that? I do. I and got I, sick from that. It was outside. It was rainy and it was uh, what happened. We lose, lose me. Did I lose you. Oh, you're no. showing a video. Oh, I'm showing that. Like, I'm showing that video be- because we, before we go, before we leave, I just want to, I often think to myself, who could do this? Cause, cause there's a lot of guys, Travis Bajant is in this, in this group. And uh, right. I just, I'm wondering if you could take us back to this day. And uh, I just, I just remember it was outdoors and it was raining cats and dogs. And I think everybody got pneumonia from this thing that was outside all day long. Um, yeah, no, it was fun, but. Yeah, it was I a, mean, how a, how many people did you arm wrestle, and uh, how long? Yeah. Maybe I'm thinking of a different event. Um, it was a hundred people, but we. They, oh, they you're broke. thinking about the one where it was the rainstorm? Yeah, <laughs> no. that was another Bergeson event. Yeah, that was the I, next I, year. I, yeah, I'm getting confused. So yeah, no, the the hundred people was uh, I think thirty at a time. So it was broken up where it was it was doable for me. If it if it was a hundred people standing in line one right after the other, it would have, it had been hard to do. But they did thirty, and then we they wrestled the regular tournament, and then we did I did thirty more, and then they wrestled the regular tournament, and then I did another thirty. So, but it was kind of an interesting concept. You know, people got to bid on the spot, uh, and then whoever beat me ended up getting the the full. You know the full. What jackpot. do you mean they got to bid? <laughs> so there was a hundred spots, and uh, people would uh, basically place their name on this roster of a hundred people uh, based on an entry fee or a donation, and all this money that they donated for this place on the roster went into a big jackpot or a kitty, and, and the person that beat me ended up getting getting this jackpot. But no or one beat you. If, if nobody beat me, then I got it. So I was motivated. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, who came up with that idea? Um, I think John and I, I, I whether it was John or, or myself, I, I can't remember which, but um, yeah. It was how just, old were you? Oh, man, all the tough questions. I have no 2004. idea. 2004. So that's uh, 40, 40 years. I was 40 years old. And can, can, can anyone else do this? Like I know Travis mm, used to think yeah. he could. Yeah, the speedsters could. I mean, someone like Arson could probably pull it off. So you'd have to be an explosive guy, but yeah, no, there was there's there's the 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 field of arm wrestling is so deep now that there's there's so many guys that are good quality arm wrestlers. Back in the day, there was out of those hundred people, there was maybe ten matches that were serious matches. The rest were just so. At, at no point did you ever think you you were nervous. Um, there was a point where I got in a couple of tough matches where I had a little bit of a, 
a pump going and, and some decent arm wrestlers came up, stepped up and, uh, you know, maybe, maybe you don't know it, Gary, but if you get a little bit of a pump, even some decent amateurs can <laughs> put a hurt into yeah. to you on occasion. So anyways, um, I, I think that's like the, t- I, uh, we should do more cool stuff like that. What happened to John Bergerson come out of the right, works right, right. tournaments again. Right. All right. Uh, any parting words, uh, you want to say the chance or chance you want to say to John who's no, I mean, uh, so uh, chance you're coming in on Friday night I or Friday afternoon or. Yeah. You, I think you... we land Friday at four, three or four. All right. Yeah. Even if I leave early, early morning, the time change is so different from Phoenix to uh, DC hours, area yeah. that, yeah, I'm probably not going to get there until, Oh, at the earliest, probably six o'clock at in the evening. So um, what airport? I probably, I probably won't see. Um, either well, I, I'll pre- prefer Dulles, but if I have to go into Baltimore, I will. Okay. That's where I'm going into is Baltimore. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then you said what time on Friday? Uh, like four ish, I think. Oh, okay. Hey, you might be a couple hours earlier than I, I could possibly be there. Do you, is Travis coming to get you or you have, no, we, we have a, a vehicle. So oh, you got to run a car. So if you happen, if you happen to, uh, land around the same time, we can give you a ride. Okay. We have okay. plenty of room. Yeah. All right. I was, I was I'm trying excited. to go. I was trying I to too. go, but I missed it. Damn, that was my wife's birthday. Damn it. I want to be there. Uh, you know, you got YouTube. You'd be able to watch it. Okay. Yeah. Here's I was joking earlier. Here's what I think. I think you guys are going to, for some reason, I think you guys are going to have a ra- uh, some amazing matches. I think it's going to be really exciting. I just, I just wish I had more fight in me. I think I do fight? believe. What? I believe. I, 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 be, I also believe. Or I wouldn't have been curious to 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 want to arm us a chance. I do believe I have a chance, <laughs> so I, I'm not completely showing up feeling like I am completely out of my league. So, um, oh, I missed some super chats. Oops. Okay, 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 okay. Before we go, we got to say these last super chats. John, you'll find the fight. I know when you find the fight. When the ready go is about to happen, I know you're gonna get fired up, and I know you um, you can give us a good match. Kilfer, John versus Alexi. Is that a question? What is that? Well, the current current Alexi um, looks like it would be a decent match. Um, I, but I, hell, I don't know. Um, to, uh, Tim Tim beat Alexi, but Tim is maybe a couple levels above me at this point. Um, if if they offered a match with Alexi, would I say yes? Absolutely, for sure. It'd be fun just to hang out with him. I think he's a stud, and it'd be just think, fun to get together with him and I, I, hang out. Just in terms of promotion, I think that could be a kick-ass promotion. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Georgia Arm Fights, the goat is in the house. What? And then uh, we got a couple more. Sack Mike, Sack Mike Cock. Come on. Come on. <laughs> You're not supposed to read those, Gary. Yeah. $2 super <laughs> chat. John, at what age was your peak in terms of strength? Uh, this question has been asked a million times of me. I, I think power wise, the combination of reflex speed and strength. So my younger years in my twenties, I was a lot more explosive, a lot faster. Um, so I could deliver a lot harder punch. Um, as I progressed and got older, I definitely got stronger. I got better stem stamina, but my, my nervous system, my, my, my ability to, to snap was, uh, started to diminish. Yeah. Uh, when you did the seminar in Waxahachie, you really gave a good, an- I, I really, I, I never really thought about it. It's like younger, you can be stronger. And as you get a little older, you got to get a little more technical. And I thought that was, and, really and it's not, that's not, I don't think that's, if I said that, I, 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 be- said I, be- I like believe that. as you get older, I can get, I, I, you can get stronger. You can put more muscle on, but that muscle is slower twitch. It's it's not a, it's not the same as when you're a, a twenty year old. For me, it wasn't. Yeah. I mean, I I, I was an explosive kid. So, kill first two dollars super chat. Ask John if he wants to pull Alexi. We already yes. went over that, sir. We already went over that. Uh, yes, I did. Okay, real quick before we go, I put up that video after that interview. Uh, true status of John Merzink, twenty twenty, and I really got beat up. People thought I was a horrible interviewer. Who's this guy talking to John Merzink like this? And I, I just want to. Did you watch that video? Did you have any 
I, I, I think I, I did like, about a year ago. Are you asking Chance? Yeah, yeah. Are you asking me? <laughs> you, you, you. I think I did. I think I did somewhat watch it. I didn't think it was horrible or out of out of place. Or it has yeah. like two hundred thirty thousand views. And uh, yeah, no, I, I, I really thought I, you were. I really thought I was, you were retired. I wasn't trying to uh, sensationalize. My, I was retired. I still am. Yeah. 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 Well. Anyways, uh, uh, just for shits and giggles, I've gotten a lot of heat. I'm going through all my footage, and I always put John Brzezink when I was in the matches, and I get a lot of heat that Gary is uh, taking advantage of and using your name to try to promote and make a living off arm wrestling. And I always ah. tell people, hey, I – John Brzezink <laughs> said I could. It was okay. I gave you the green light. Yeah, yeah. you know, you, you came so out you, and asked me months ago. You're like, is this okay? Absolutely. Yeah, it's okay, yeah. Gary. There's no, no skin off my... So there my you back. have it. Right. Arm TV Nation. He like said, oh, fine, use my name right. as much as you want. Is that, isn't that, what do they call that? Is that fishing or not? It's not fishing. What is it? What is it? A, a bait and hook or bait? And What's the word? Bait. Clickbait. <laughs> Clickbait. Clickbait. That's yeah, right. Yeah. I'll get the techno stuff. I mean, here's the deal. <laughs> when it comes to YouTube, if you want to find John Brzezink, it, people search John Brzezink. So if I have footage of John Brzezink, I, you why use the name. I, why it's, would it's, I not use the name? It's, 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 it's like, search I mean, right. come I got on. I All right. Chance Shaw, good luck. I, I really, I mean, I'm hoping for great arm wrestling. I think I'll enjoy it no matter who wins. But I got to I got to want I got to root for the old guy. John Brzezink seems to really think that he's doesn't have it in him at 50. That's unexpected, Gary. I thought you're <laughs> you're the one that uh, always preaches the new guys need to take over. I'm, uh, I'm I'm torn. Let's put it that way. I'm torn. torn. I'm torn. It's, I'm, it's, a, it's a win for the arm wrestling community, right? Yeah. We get to see John arm wrestle. Chance Shaw. I'm 100 percent honest here. I really like you. I like your personality. I'm glad you. you're potentially the future of the sport. I, I can get behind that. I'm a big fan of John too. So this Who's is not? A, this is a tough one. But I just hope you guys have a, a good match. Yeah, no, it's uh, going to be. It, it's it was a it's a great matchup, and it's a perfect time for it. And so yeah, yeah. no, it's it's going to be win win for everybody. Absolutely. All right, uh, Arm TV Nation. Thanks for tuning in for the show. They can watch this live where. I have no idea. Um, Jay... <laughs> Chance Shaw. Oh, oh you... the, yeah, it's on. It's on my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Well, at least one of us has a YouTube yeah. channel. <laughs> yeah, it's on my. It's on my channel. Uh, I'll probably be going live for the ROTN so like nine thirty, and then our match should be around ten, Eastern. Oh, so you're going to be working cameras and stuff. You'd be so. No, exhausted. no, no. That's what I have Maggie for. <laughs> oh, <no. Okay. laughs> Ma Damn. Maggie takes care of all that, so I will all be right. fresh as a daisy. John, uh, is there? Any... I'll be feeding you beers, though. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll help my my reaction time. Yeah. Is there, is it, is there any? It? John, is there any chance you start a YouTube channel? Uh, Ryan, Ryan <laughs> attempted to try to set one up for me, so I think one exists for me somewhere. I just don't know how to log into it or do anything with it. Um, I mean, I shouldn't you, be, you see what I shouldn't Bob be Brown so is lazy. doing. Yeah, no, that's crazy, right? I mean, Bob Brown, you can. I'm too lazy. It. I just, I don't, I just don't see the big benefit in it. Yeah. But maybe I'll be wrong in 20 years when you guys are all millionaires and and riding on your yachts and stuff like that. I'll be <laughs> jealous. But and then I'll be getting hate mail saying I used your name. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least maybe you'll give me a ride on it, right? Yeah, of course, of course. How many Insta? Don't you have like 25,000 Instagram followers or something? I never post. Well, I don't. I don't ever post on Instagram. I mean, I. But you do yeah. have thousands of followers. I use. I, uh, yeah, I think so. A couple <laughs> thousand, yeah. A couple thousand. Yeah. No, you told me twenty something. Uh, maybe it is twenty. All right. You uh, gotta post more, John. Yeah, Sack I know. Sack Mike, he wants the behind the scenes pulling John documentary. I told myself I was going to work on that this week. Uh, so I will try to do that since the John match. All right, guys. Good night. I will right. be watching live. I will totally tune in and I can't wait and uh, say hi to Travis for me. My uh, will do. my nemesis. Thanks, Thanks for having mm -hmm. us, Gary. Hey, Thanks, thank Gary. You, John. We'll Thanks, talk John. to you soon. Bye. Take care, Chance. We'll see you on Saturday. Yeah, I'll see you, John.